oh hey there we're just walking you know stretching the legs yep that's right my teacher actually calls me legs because I wear skinny jeans um fun fact of the day for you guys so yeah we're just walking to Starbucks like I've done in a million vlogs so far well like a million what he does with all his time pretty much yep that's all I do that's right all yep. yep all Starbucks I do Starbucks and Mr. Sub yeah Starbucks and Mr. Sub basically comprise all of my vlogs and if I could sum them up in like one word or actually you know two words or slash kind of three words, three words. <laughs> no no two words let's do, stick with two words it'd be Starbucks and subs that's three Starbucks no Starbucks and, and subs. subs yeah but and doesn't officially count as a word it's, it's like does. it's like the and symbol if anything you're, you should be like Starbucks Starbucks yeah that, Starbucks that just sounds subs. that just sounds nasty and unattractive <laughs> Fine, so. star... Star subs. Star, star subs. subs? Star subs sound decent. I yeah. think I can live with star subs. Okay. Like, I think it's something that's... It's, Livable. Yeah. It, it, it sounds kind of... It's kinda, pleasant to the ears. It's like, it, it sounds kind of appetizing. Yeah, it sounds happy. Anyways, so... I got this. Um, it's a little coupon. You want to film it? <laughs> I got this thing. It's a little... Ooh, a long shot. <laughs> Oh, geez. It's a little coupon, so I can take the camera back now. If, yeah, um, that I get a free drink, any drink I want, free, and it's uh, any size as well. So I don't know. I was thinking like maybe I'm gonna go in and order. I'm gonna ask for the most expensive drink and get it in a venti. But then I'm thinking like, what if I don't like the most expensive drink? So just get so the I'm most expensive drink that you would. So I'm sticking with the caramel frappuccino and getting a venti caramel frappuccino. And I'm going to be going to the washroom and peeing like a horse after it. <laughs> which is going to be... That's attractive. Right? Yep. Of course. Very attractive. I know. I just have a way of being attractive with my words. Do horses urinate a lot? Well, if, if the expression is pee like a horse, then I'm guessing is it a they urinate somewhat to a, to a very large degree. I was just trying to use fancy words there and it didn't really pan out for me. I really need to start vlogging more because now my arm is starting to get sore from holding it out like here. It's the camera, we need the pan No, but like holding your arm in, the posi in this position and it's been like two minutes straight so far. No, it hasn't. I held it really So, uh, yeah, I'm going to shut this off now to rest my arm and stretch it. So, I've just been thinking a lot about, you know, vlogging in public, like, um, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, like, sometimes I do get nervous, like, vlogging in public, not because it's like, oh no, I'm vlogging in public, like, oh, what if my nose sees me, it's so embarrassing. Um, I do get a bit nervous, I guess, or something, it's just like, it's one of those things that you really, like, sometimes you'll get nervous about and just be like, you'll be so on edge, like, oh, I don't want people watching me and, and watching me vlog, I look crazy, and there's already, like, three people that just drove by and already watched me, but it's one of those things that you just have to, like, dive into, you know what I mean? One of those things that if, um, like, there are times, I guess, where you're not going to feel, like, comfortable doing it, but you just have to dive into it. So I'm on my way to work. It's, um, you know, like usual. And again, picking up subs like usual. God, okay, my life seems so, like, routine now. Like, after filming it for, um, wait, it's gonna be, this is the 36th day, I think? Yeah, after filming it for 36 days, my life seems so routine. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Now I'm off to work. Now I'm at Mr. Sub. Like, I don't know, I guess, I I need to start like mixing things up. I guess everyone falls into those routines, right? Everyone has that routine. They wake up in the morning and they fall into the same routine every morning. Like, you don't realize it, but you do. Like, you wake up, you know, you brush your teeth first, and then you comb your hair, and then you put on deodorant. Or, you know, some people can put on deodorant first, and then comb their hair, then, then brush their teeth. Like, we don't realize how much routine we actually, we're, we're actually in. But, you know, like, I don't know, t take note of it. Like, think about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and you'll see a lot of it is routine. And I think sometimes it's always good to break out of it. Sometimes it's, you know, 
it's it can be hard, it can be challenging, but a lot of the times it can be worth it just to change it up and mix it up and yeah. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.